Hello and welcome to Kitty Place Morrowind. I'm Nighty and I'll be the host of this episode. Last time we stopped when the game crashed and um, well I actually seem to not have gone the same route than before. So I decided to, to restart the recording so you don't miss out on what happens on my way to Margan or rather on my way whilst being hopelessly lost. He said and find, found another signpost. And it's not Margan, it was more like Mar actually. And I think I remember something which is good. Let us head to more like Mar though. Anxious from the uh, from the crash to desktop, he quick saved. Seems like this is a parallel road from the one that we already took, leading back to where we came from, kind of. I've got to check what effect this is. As I said, I think it's damage, uh, damage health. And there we rest. Interrupted by a rat. And there are even more enemies nearby. Do you think that somewhere around there is a cliff racer? Signpost, please? I mean, I would go in kind of this direction. Yeah, we haven't been... Haven't been here before, else the local map would have... Shown where we went. It does not look like a road, so I'm going to follow the road. And I was correct, following following what looked more like a road. in reinforcements but it doesn't help them much come on little birdie this kitty is hungry there we go I just need to stand still so they don't hear the ringing bell around my neck there it goes That said, I'm only eating birds that um, are either deep fried or attack me first. More like Mar. That's the way. That's the way you go. Oh, he noticed me from without being able to see me. Well, that's. That's game engines, especially such an early one. I also remember recently that the machine that I played this on for the first time, is there an entrance? Yes. That I played this on for the first time was a Pentium 3 500 megahertz. So this is the machine that I had from back when I played this with like 12 frames per second. <laughs> there we go. And that's... That's the way you do it. And 
and there's sometimes there's lots of signposts everywhere and sometimes there's nearly no signpost this is the way to Mulagmar let's see if we can hit him from here yes we can very nice Seems like this Molagmar place is actually just a fable. We're running in circles around this place. Uh, we haven't found it yet. Uh, scamp. Phew. We're going this way. Well, let me quick save and still try to attack it. I, last, the last scamp that we tried to attack. Yeah, it was pretty strong. On the other hand, now we have two attacks, which means I can actually attack and kill it. Oh, very nice. And of course it didn't drop anything. Well, onward, um, <coughs> onward to Molagmar. Alert, I think. Yeah. Well, the old credo save, save early, save often automatically fulfills itself, itself since I'm auto saving whenever I rest, and I'm resting often. Fight. There. Should have waited, by it, but I thought I would kill him before he notices me. Yay, the short blade skill increased, which increases the chance that we hit with it. Where does it lead us? Yeah, I first want to go to into the city because this means that I enable myself the quick travel to the place or from the place. That was some mighty belch. I I am not sure if I want to know what made this sound. And I also am kind of sure the way we've been here before. But on the other hand, everything looks the same. Molagmar this way. Another cliff racer that's stuck this way. Going to places without using quick travel is kind of an odyssey in this game. On the other hand, there is another cave that we could try to explore. Let us see where this leaf leads. Kunirai. killed us off very quickly plus the de death sound sounds like a purr so it sounds like our character is happy that he dies well yeah I do know that cats don't just purr when they're happy they also purr when they're in pain and this 
Is this Molok Mara? Is this the place we're looking for? No, that's Telacero. Very neat. I don't want to go to Telacero. I want to go to the city of Molok Mara. But at least now I've got a landmark to navigate by. Let's continue on the road. Sorry. Missed the red by hitting the floor. Okay, we can just do this, apparently. Interesting. Molag Amur region. At, at least this region starts with Molag, so it might be... We might be right. We might also be in the completely wrong place. I have no clue. And honestly, I roughly know how this game goes, I roughly know the story, but I don't remember every detail. Which I think makes it kind of perfect for a let's play. It is new, there is things to explore, but you don't know everything. Very nice, the other one didn't notice us. And now we're too blind to see it. Thank you very much, Storm. There it is. Correction, there it was. Yeah, as I thought, it's like around here. And since it's, it's said we should go around the mountain, either we go, need to go back all the way that we traveled already, or we go around this route. It seems like we have nearly been there. There. There, I see a Silt Strider. Oh my god. Could be that, we, that we're that we actually er, finally there. This could be Molagmar. It is. It is Molagmar. We finally reached our intermediate destination. Oh, this feels so good. Finally seeing a friendly face again. We make a special Hello, trip just for you. Same low price. But first I need something to eat and drink. Let us see if we... Oh look there is a familiar face or at least a friendly looking person. Hey fellow Kajiti. Vanijira. What can Vanishira do for you? Um, do you by any chance have any skooma? A skooma is an illegal narcotic substance made from refined moon sugar. Criminals use it as kind of currency. They say it makes you fast and strong, but clumsy and stupid. Of course, Vanishira wants nothing to do with breaking laws. That would be wrong. Oh, I'm sorry. You do know you that... wish to speak? I always wish to speak to fellow Kajidi. Yeah, that's... The, the engine is unable to notice that there is a wall between the storm and me, so the 
the particle effect still works until I get inside. Let us see if we can find some kind of tavern here. That would be pretty neat. Smith, well, you can repair my weapon for me. Any time now. Hmm. Native something something. Interesting. Don't stand about. Make it quick, Kaji. Stronghold. I'm not interested in strongholds. I, I want food and drink, please. Maybe a bed to rest my weary legs. This looks like a bed, but I think this is a place someone owns. Yeah. I stumbled into someone's house. Oh, uh, not a merchant. Okay. Well, this seems to be someone who sells, buys and sells everything. Let's see, 45, 49. Any time now. Okay, let us... Let me check the map. Ah, the Pilgrim's Rest. This looks good. I mean, I was a Pilgrim once. I did the pilgrimage of, Pilgrimages of the Seven Graces. Go ahead, go ahead. Hello. Well, you have a little advice for me. Most Pilgrims need guards and guides to reach the Pilgrim sites. But someone like you should have no trouble on your own. Follow Foyada Elibal northwest to Mount Kant, then Mount Asarnibibi to the northeast of Mount Kant, and across Foyada Sabirbabel. Sabirbabel. Just take your time, keep landmarks in sight, and be ready to hoof it back to the stronghold if you get in trouble. I just don't know what kind of pilgrimage he's talking about. So what do you want? If I can help, I will, but don't take too much time. This outpost is maintained by the temple for... I guess... Um, this outpost is maintained by the temple for pilgrims and temple warriors. Apart from ordinators and boyan armagers here, everyone is either a pilgrim or a tradesman or a craftsman servicing the pilgrims. Is there something I can do for you? How about some training? In sneaking, blocking, and medium armor. Oh, sorry. My time is precious, so make it quick. So this is not a place where I can buy beds, and he doesn't even have food or drink. <sighs> well, seems like I need to go on without then. Let's head back outside into the cruel storm. The cruel stormy storm. I guess this is not the way to go, but maybe there is some route north from here. Well, we do have quick travel. It seems like the dark thing where I thought this would be the valley is actually the mountain. So I misread this uh, this map entirely, like inversely. Maybe I should check if there is a texture replace or mod for this map, which makes it more easily readable for the likes of me. Well, we should follow around the mountain, and we're going to follow around the other side, because I don't want to bore you with things that you've already seen. Or at least not too much. I 
think this cross on the right is not actually not a cross, but another signpost. Indeed it is. And I want to follow this road to the north. So this is promising if this place counts as a temple. This means that my intervention will teleport me back to Mulatmar. I will be able to sell all the stuff and recall back into the ruins. So it is a temple which has vendors nearby even though I might have to sleep a lot or to wait a lot in order for their inventories to recharge or refill. Enemies are nearby. I'm betting it is a. Could be this one. Let me try. We can rest once I kill them. Yep. Oh, I forgot resting quick saved already. straight towards the dwarven ruins that we're looking for. Ain't that good. Now, let me try to remember checking the effect of the attack. Fire damage. It actually is fire damage. Just heading upwards. Oh, look at that beautiful night sky. All the stars. One of these, as I suppose, is our sun. And of course, after I rested all my... Uh, the, the fog came back again. Okay, now let me just head straight towards... This is the direc direction that we want to go. So let me just try and head up these. It looks like these slopes are specifically made for someone or some cat to go up the mountain. And there it is. Nchulefing. thing. The dwarven ruin that we were looking for. Where we need to find the excavation report.
well. Let's first check. I know that there is a cliff racer here. My little things. Oh, look at that, a ballista. That's what I mean. I can't use them. I can't. I can't play some kind of scientist or something. The game just simply doesn't allow for that. And I can't kill the cliff racers with it. Seems like Cliff Racer actually flees. No. Either it doesn't flee or it just did flee. There it goes. How do you get there? I guess the same way I do, but you're no cat. You're a weird bipedal head. Uh, they say you, your weight is strongly at the head. Look at these. It looks like, like it's standing on two legs and can actually walk. I think someone stood there and operated it like this. It's actually pretty awesome. I think having this with new models and stuff would be pretty awesome. And I think they are, they, they are slash were efforts to recreate this game with the newer engines so you could actually play it with new models and with the new game mechanics introduced. Look, all these ruins are half submerged. It's not just that the dwarves cut these out of the stone, it really looks like they have been buried by the mountain. And look there, there is actually something that looks like a door in, in up in the air, but I guess it's just some kind of a window and I bet we'll never get into this tower. That's another thing that I think is sad. You go here, go to these places, you see all these towers and you know you'll never actually get into them. Anywho, I'm going to rest. Like there is an enemy here. Hmm. Seems like the audio is weird in the stream. I think it's time to pause the recording <laughs> because this is roughly an episode, anyhow. So I'm going to do that and then adjust the volume. So for all of you watching this on YouTube, I bid you farewell and you will see the dice determining when the next episode will air. See you until then. Bye bye.